Hey, it's Angela from the blog AngelaMarieMade.com. Today I'm sharing how to make a DIY doormat with a Cricut. I'm also sharing my free SVG file of the Hello Pumpkin design that I created in my free printable library, which is on my blog, link below this video in the description box, so that you can make the exact same doormat. This was my first time making a DIY doormat and it took me four different tries to figure out how to make it the best way using my Cricut. But I think this method that I'm going to share is the easiest way to do it and also the best way to get a good crisp transfer of the design onto the doormat. Before we get started, let's talk about the type of paint that you can use. There are many kinds of outdoor paints that you can use for this DIY doormat, including outdoor spray paint, outdoor acrylic paint, outdoor latex paint, even something called Flex Seal Rubber Spray, which actually isn't paint. My preferred type of paint is exterior latex paint for the ease of use of it, the long-term durability, and also for easily transferring the design over to the doormat. Also, with exterior latex paint, you don't need to seal it with any kind of top coat or sealant. I prefer to use the paint with a stencil brush instead of doing a spray type of paint because that way you don't risk getting any type of underspray under your stencil. Let's talk about stencil material. The most common types for a doormat stencil are vinyl, paper, and freezer paper. Vinyl either with or without transfer tape as well as freezer paper all work, however, they're difficult to work with and take a lot of time and effort to get them off of the cutting mat and properly onto the doormat. I think the easiest stencil material to use is a paper stencil using the right type of paper. I used the paper backing that comes with my Oracle 631 vinyl. It's a high quality, strong paper, the perfect size already for the 12 by 24 inch Cricut cutting mat and it has a shiny side that the vinyls adhere to, which works great for easily and quickly removing the stencil from the mat. My other discovery for getting the stencil to stick to the mat the best and not move around is glue dots. Seriously, after trying vinyl, sewing pins, painters tape, and more, the glue dots work awesome. Okay, let's get started. After downloading the Hello Pumpkin free SVG file from our free printable library to your computer, open it in Cricut Design Space. Again, you can get the link to that below this video. To open the file in Cricut Design Space, click on Upload, Upload Image, Browse, and then select and open the file from your computer. Next, select Upload and then select the design from Recent Uploads and click on Insert Images. After the design has opened, click on the green Make It button. For this project, we're going to be using a 12 by 24 inch mat and I like to center the design on the mat to make it easier when working with it. Next, click Continue. Make sure your Cricut is connected and select the paper type from the drop down menu. I wasn't sure exactly what type of paper to use, so I selected construction paper since the vinyl backing paper has a similar thickness to construction paper. Step two is to make the stencil for the doormat. Remove the 12 by 24 inch vinyl from the backing paper. Attach the vinyl backing paper to your 12 by 24 inch Cricut cutting mat and make sure the shiny side is down. The Oracle logo will be on the top side. It's really important to do the shiny side down so that the stencil will easily remove from the mat after cutting. Load the mat with the paper into the Cricut and press the flash and go button to make the stencil for the doormat. After the Cricut finishes cutting, remove the mat and weed the letters from the paper. This just means to remove the letter shapes and leave the remaining paper to create the stencil. I used the weeding tool to help with this part, but the letters came right off the mat. Make sure to remove the inside floating letter pieces too and set them aside to use later. Next, remove the paper stencil from the mat, starting at one corner and carefully pulling it off the mat. Place the DIY stencil down on the doormat. To help flatten the stencil out, I used my Cricut Easy Press on 275 degrees Fahrenheit, but you can also use an iron on medium to high heat. Center the stencil on the doormat. I used a ruler to help make sure my design was properly centered and straight, but you can eye it as well. Carefully apply painter's tape just along the top edge of the stencil to the doormat to secure it in place in the correct position on the mat. As I said earlier, I found glue dots to work the best in really holding the letters down for a good stencil transfer. Carefully flip the design over. You don't need to add glue dots everywhere, just along the looser letters and sides where they're sticking up. For thinner areas, I cut the glue dots in half. I 
Carefully flip the stencil back over and press the stencil down and flatten it out on the doormat. If you notice that you missed any areas that are still sticking up, just gently turn them up and add a glue dot. Also, at this point, I added glue dots to the back of my floating letter pieces and secured them in place. Step four is to apply the paint to the stencil on the doormat. The key to stenciling with a stencil brush is to not overload the brush with paint, as you don't want the paint to seep under the stencil. I like to dip my brush in the paint and then on a paper towel to get the excess paint off. Apply the paint over the stencil with the stencil brush in an up and down motion. After the first coat has been applied, let the paint dry. Apply a second coat of paint the same way as the first coat. I found that two coats of paint was enough, but feel free to apply three coats if you want a darker design. Finally, remove the stencil, painter's tape, and glue dots from the doormat to reveal your beautiful doormat design transfer. Most of the glue dots should stick to the stencil paper, but if you have any that are sticking to the doormat, you can easily just pull them off. How cute did this DIY doormat turn out? I love it and I think it looks so cute over our buffalo plaid doormat. Have you ever made one of these DIY doormats before? I'd love to hear about your experience with it below in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more fun DIY and decor projects. Thanks for watching.